Hey guys, Richard Constable here, and I'm going to show you today how to connect PayPal with ClickFunnels. Okay, so once you've logged in, you go to the top right and hit Account Settings. That'll take you here, and then if you go all the way down, you go to Payment Gateways. And then you hit Add New Payment Gateway. Then you head over to PayPal V2. Click on that. And then it will say PayPal V2 client and client secret. Okay, live credentials, uncheck this if it's sandbox. So live is when you, when it's actually live and it's ready and it's you know going to be performing for you. Sandbox is when you're testing. If you want to do tests, um, credentials, and you don't want all the figures to skew the live results, then you, you can go ahead and do sandbox. Okay, so if you click integration, it's actually gonna. It doesn't actually link to anything anymore. See, it's broken. So what you need to do is you need to go to help and get help. Okay. And once you're here, you can go to PayPal integration, V3 or API integration. And then it's going to have a link here, developer.paypal.com slash developer accounts. Okay. So it's starting to sound complicated, but it really isn't. It's really simple. And I'll show you exactly what to do here. So you just click on that, and it takes you here, okay? And then you navigate, so it's on accounts straight away. Uh, it might ask you to log in if you, if you haven't already logged in. So you log in. You need to make sure you have a business account. If you've got a personal account, you won't be able to go live, okay? If it's just a personal account, you can do the sandbox, the testing, but you will need a business account to actually go live and, and accept payments through PayPal. Okay, so you go navigate to the top, My Apps and Credentials. And it shows you this. And now you can press Create App. So live, it'll just say this if you don't have a business account. This, this is just a, a test account, so it's not a a business account. So go back to Sandbox and you press Create App. And you put the name of whatever you're selling. So or whatever your business is, whatever you feel deems necessary for this particular integration so that you can find it. So I've put T-shirt because we're doing a T-shirt example I'll show you in a minute. An app type merchant accept payments as a merchant or platform move payments to sellers as a platform marketplace crowdfunding or e-commerce platform. So you pick the one that's relevant to what you're selling, and then you pick the account that you want to use. So there's a personal one and a business one. Okay, and then you just press create app. And it gives you a sandbox account. It gives you a client ID, and then when you click show it'll show you the secret okay so the client ID you can click that and copy and that is what the client is there that sexy little thing then you press show secret and copy that in here and I'll just do that for one second then once you've done that you click on create PayPal v2 account so I'll just click that and I don't want to show you the secret so I'll just <laughs> I'll just copy that quickly. One thing just to quickly mention before we click that, we have to check if it's a live credentials or not. If you click live and it's in sandbox, then it will come up with this error, error when creating a PayPal V2 payment gateway. But if it matches up, then it will work, okay? <laughs> so click the yellow button, and now we've got the nice green success in the top right, and then it will come up as PayPal V2. So really unhelpful thing is that um, you can't actually change the name okay so if you have multiple you have to keep a an idea of of what's what so you might want to take the the codes and put um you know make a note separately of which one's which just so you know because in in your funnels i'll just show you quickly When you add a product, it'll just say PayPal V2, PayPal V2, PayPal V2. So there'll be three of them, which is really helpful. Okay. <laughs> so it'll just show up like that. So you need to know whether it's one, two, or three. And then that's where you, 
should probably do a test just to make sure it's going to the right account if you have multiple PayPal accounts. If you just got one, no issues. Um, unless you're crazy like me and you have two and I've just added a third. I'm wild. <laughs> So if you need any more help with this kind of stuff, I've got a mini ClickFunnels course. It's an A to Z course. It's free, and you can sign up underneath this. Um, it's Power to the Funnel slash free course. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. And if, um, you know, if you're new to this funnel game and you really want to kind of get an idea for what you need to do to move forward, uh, ClickFunnels actually has a challenge that you can take. It's a 30 day challenge. And it's called One Funnel Away. Okay, so the concept there is you're one funnel away from the next thing. So it could be leaving your job. It could be the next um, stage of your business. It could be it could be anything, okay? It could be a whole new start for yourself. But really amazing challenge. You, you learn so much. So with my free course, the technical side, and the kind of overarching ideas side from the One Funnel Away Challenge, you've got a really nice pairing there. And I've actually, you know, if you click on the link underneath, there's another link um, which says powertothefunnel.com slash sign up. If you sign up via there, you're actually going to get a couple of extra bonuses, okay? You're going to get a blockbuster call with myself. And what that will entail is before the challenge starts, because it doesn't always start, um, you know, as soon as you pay, it doesn't start straight away. It might be, it starts every two weeks. So before you start, you might want to have a quick call with myself just to kind of, kind of talk through some things, what it's like, and um, just kind of see if it's, uh, you know, what your plan will be during that challenge, okay? So not only will you get that, um, you know, we'll, we'll smash through any false beliefs and any problems that are kind of holding you back. The other thing I'm going to give you is the affiliate bridge page that I've got underneath as well. So what that will enable you to do is if you don't have a product or idea and you want to do, be an affiliate for ClickFunnels, then you can just use that page, edit it to add your own name and your own details. And it shouldn't take you more than an hour to put in your own bits and bobs. And you've already got like a bridge funnel that you can just straight away go and use and then implement during the challenge. Um, so if you want all of those extra gifts, the A to Z ClickFunnels course, um, the Blockbuster call, and the uh, uh, share funnel, uh, you can go ahead and, and sign up under underneath this uh, video. Um, hope this was helpful. Any questions, just, just shout. I'm honestly here to help. And uh, I'd love to have this blockbuster call and see you on the other side. Okay, enjoy and have a lovely day. Take care. Bye.